Hey everybody, so we have an amazing interview for you tonight. Listen, this guest is fires, dynamic, she got the sauce, she got the juice, she got the energy. Like, you guys are definitely going to be blessed uh, by this interview because I'm going to be asking some amazing questions. It's really going to get you guys a little bit more acquainted with this amazing guest. All right, let's see, Robin here is in the building. Robin, what's going on? Hey, Lanny, how you doing? I'm doing amazing. I'm doing amazing. How about you? I'm good. Let me just plug up my phone. No, I, I, um, <laughs> I didn't charge it before I... Okay, it's charging now. now you fine. I didn't have the, uh, my phone die on me on plenty of live videos, so I'm glad <laughs> you're being proactive. Uh-huh. How you doing? <laughs> Man, I'm doing amazing. I cannot complain. It's uh, been an amazing, beautiful day. It's sunny outside. Can you so, see uh, me okay? Yeah. So, Robin, tell tell the people who you are and what you do. Oh, so my name is Robin V. I'm a Baltimore native. I live in Miami, and I'm a celebrity photographer and creative director, brand management, brand manager, all that stuff. <laughs> Oh, that's dope. Now, how did you get into photography from the beginning? Because, like, me rocking with you since, like, I think I met you on Clubhouse, mm -hmm. I came to your page and just seeing you doing all these dope and amazing things, but it's like as time went on, like, you start leaning more into the photography. So what, what, what gave you, like, that, um, it's time to go? Well, to be honest with you, I've been a photographer for 11 years. Wow. So, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So around the time that you met me, I had taken a break from photography gotcha. to gotcha. launch another business. Um, and that business was called Vegan AF. And it was a vegan company that I had. Um, it's still around, but we're not operating. But it was a company that um, I was uh, operating with um, my sister and another business partner. And when COVID hit, you know, it just, it just wiped us out, you know? So, um, yeah, so that's what happened. So I took my focus a little bit off of photography to, to push that and focus on that business. And around the time where you met me, I started to shift gears back into gotcha. the photography direction. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Now, what, what do you love the most about what you do? Oh, man, I love like working with people. I love the fact that in what I do, I always get to connect with new people and, um, you know, just meeting different personalities, uh, you know, and, you know, I, I work with like different makeup artists and stylists and just being able to connect with other creatives, you know, yeah. where you can kind of like exchange you know, energy and, yeah, you know, it's yeah. just, yeah, like, I love being in a creative space. I love being able to create and I love being able to bounce ideas off of other people. So mm -hmm. that's like the most exciting part about yeah. it is like the creative process and being able to work with other people that are like-minded. And you look so free doing it too, though. Oh my God, I'm an Aquarius. So, you know, we have that kind of like free, like, you know, I'm in my element when I'm, you know, when I'm working, that's just what yeah. I love to do. And I love to, you know, make people feel good. You know, mm -hmm. um, I think I learned that uh, very early on that, you know, that's something that I love to do and I can do that through photography. Yeah, facts, facts. Now, when you are like, constantly putting out content it it would almost seem back to that point about you being free it would almost seems like you post what you want and you just like y'all like it or not yeah absolutely you know um i had a friend who i was talking to a few years ago this is about five years ago and um you know uh, with with instagram 
you you'll fall into posting what you think other people would like and you have to like stay true to yourself and just post what you feel and what you feel passionate about not everyone is gonna like every photo that i put out but i like it mm -hmm. you know and that's what's important i think that when you stay true to yourself and who you are yeah. you know that's when you draw your your people your tribe to you mm -hmm. you know it's opposed to masking and you know that creates a lot of anxiety trying to figure out what other people are gonna like mm -hmm. you know um mm -hmm. versus you know you want to draw people to you for the right reasons and not yep. the wrong reasons so when you stay true to yourself you know that's yep. what happens. yeah and, and robin the reason why i brought up that point because so many of the clients that come across our desk they are struggling with this whole thing of imposter syndrome and really being true to themselves. And mm -hmm. to your point about being stressed out, it's like mm -hmm. this whole branding process doesn't have to be as difficult as people make it out to be. Yes. You can be relaxed, you can chill, you can have fun. Yeah. But I think it's really stepping out of your own way and really being comfortable in your own space. It, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And it's, you experience the imposter syndrome when you're being an imposter, when mm -hmm. you're trying to please other people. Yeah. And, um, you know, it wasn't until I started to really come back to center and know like exactly who I was, <laughs> exactly what mm -hmm. I wanted to put out there. If I don't want to be on Instagram, I'm not going to come on. You know, there's so many other things that I could be doing yeah um, i don't know if this happened there's so many other things that i can be doing to to show the progression you know um yep. i could be educating myself learning you know a new product learning mm -hmm. something new um you know as as far as like you know in the photography world we always have yep. equipment and things that kind of, there's so many other things that i can be doing than sitting all day on instagram worrying yep. about likes and who followed me and unfollowed right. me. Why we just be scrolling. People folk just be scrolling, scrolling, mm -hmm. scrolling all day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like to take breaks. Oh, yeah. Yep. So, so, so talk about that. Like, why is it important to also being able to take that breaks? And I won't even use balance necessarily because I think that I seen a post months ago. You said something to the degree of like being in like this rhythm where it's not necessarily balanced, but like you get it in hard when you need to. And there's other times where you're stepping back and maybe you didn't do no work all week, but that also got to be okay with you. Can you talk about right. that? Yes, of course. So, you know, I like to reset. I think it's very important to, you know, it's, I think we had fell into this thing of, working hard all the time pushing yeah. pushing pushing you know and it's okay to do that it's okay to do that but it then it's okay to take a break it's okay to say listen i'm tired <laughs> mm -hmm. i need to you know a mental reset i need to mentally relax my brain i need to yeah. disconnect from you know the outside world strangers if you will and um you know, just be able to reset. So a lot of times for me, I do that. I take, I take a lot of breaks, you know, um, I know it looks like I'm constantly working 24 seven, but there are times where I need downtime because if I don't have downtime, I'm unable to create, I'm unable, those ideas and things do not come to me when I'm tired, my mm -hmm. brain is cluttered, um, you know, and then I get unorganized, you know, what happens, your, your home gets unorganized, your bedroom, your closet, your, you yeah. know, for me, I like cl cl a clear mind, a clear home, a clear heart, you know, um, you know, <laughs> what are we doing if we're on, on Instagram all day? Are we praying? <laughs> are we making time for our children? Are we making time for our friends? Are we, you know, making time for ourselves? No. Right. Hey, you you talking real good already, Robin. <laughs> now, th th this is really what us as a culture needs, and especially entrepreneurs. And I feel like we just get so caught up with the stuff that really don't even matter because we're watching and paying attention to people that are talking that type of talk. And it's making us think that, oh, I got to grind hard. I got to be working 24-7. I got to be team no sleep. Like, I've been yeah. meaning to reach out to David Shams for the longest to say, hey, bro, I think it's time to change the name. Because yeah. I don't think that this is really what you believe in, but your name is almost letting people think 
that you are team no sleep. Like yeah, no, yeah, sleep it's ain't a sleep. very unhealthy sleep is for the wise approach. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a very unhealthy approach. It's a, it's very unhealthy to live that way. And I think for me, um, I'm not as impressed with things as I used to be. Mm. I think because dealing with uh, celebrities and and being behind the scenes so much. I see so many things that I know are not real. You know, um, these people are, are watching um, us just like we're watching them. And, you know, a lot of times they don't have a whole lot going on. Um, you know, I did a shoot with um, uh, Simone. Uh, she's married to LL Cool J yeah. and she was telling us she she arrived at the shoot and she said oh I'm sorry I'm late I had to make my husband some oatmeal and I was like <laughs> now these are these people are milk you know right, and I was right. like wow you you literally was make you were cooking breakfast and making oatmeal you know so right. i think a lot of times we forget that mm -hmm. these people are normal yeah. just like us we're normal we all breathe the same air you know <laughs> and yeah. it's just that you know some and i've also met celebrities that don't have you know a dime in the bank you mm -hmm. know so i think that for me um the need to impress people and be what is it on all the yeah. time? Yeah. I just don't have, I don't have that need. And I guess it's because I am behind the scenes and I see what's going on in, you know, people's lives. Yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt. What do you think inspires you? Oh man, I'm inspired by so much. I get asked this question a lot and it changes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it changes. I think what inspires me is the mood that I'm in presently. You know, okay. what inspired me yesterday might not inspire me today or my motivation, you know. Um, but I know for now, the road and the path that I'm on is helping people. Yeah. Um, helping people, helping people see their worth, their value, yeah, yeah. particularly women, because I'm a woman, not to, you know, no, I get it. <laughs> but, I yeah. you know, I have to speak to my nature, yeah. you know. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's, you know, so I, I, I guess that's what, you know, helping other people, you know, and that's just where I'm at right now. I love it. I love it. Now you just said something about like, you know, this is who I know I'm to serve, serving women. Why do you think it's so important to be able to niche down like that? Because I come across entrepreneurs that our ladies and they say look i got this dope product line and it's for ladies but i'm gonna be coming out with the men's line soon i'm like sis you don't need the men's line like just focus on the ladies that's who you know you were supposed to serve but it's like right. we get so caught up with trying to serve everybody i'll be telling customers and clients you're not walmart you ain't even target you ain't got to try to serve every single person well why it's do you think it's so caught up I think missing, I think people think that they're missing out, you know, um, and you know, what, what I feel with, especially with entrepreneurs that are doing well, and that are doing successful, they don't know how to live in the moment that they're in right there. Mm -hmm. okay. Right then, you know, mm -hmm. they don't know how to bask in the present, they're always looking to achieve more. And that's fine. But I think a lot of times we rob ourselves of those moments that we're supposed to be cherishing right yeah. then and right there. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. That made me think about, I was reading um, Atomic Habits and he talked about this research that was done that said, people get most excited right before they get the thing. But when they get the thing, they're not excited. They're about, yeah. You're, constantly thinking about something else you know um i think that a lot of times if we practice patience you know yes. and just living in the moment then we'll you, you'll serve yourself so much more yeah. better you know yeah, yeah. um but you know we're all everybody's chasing the dollar and i think honestly with instagram there's been so many sensations so many overnight successes that you know everyone is chasing that and that's fine but i think we all have to remember that what is for someone else is not 
for you, you yeah. know, um, yeah. you have your own path and your own thing to, yep. to chase and, you know, to receive fulfillment. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. Because it, cause it's like, it's this song I remember listening to years and years ago says, what God has for me is for me. And we sometimes don't want that rhyme because it's like, I like what they got, God. Let me get there. Let me get two of that. Yeah. He's like, no, you can't have it here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's true. It's very true. You know, um, during the early, like, two, 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 between 2014, no, 2010, up until, like, 2015, you know, I was, like, spending money crazy. I was buying every shoe. Uh, every purse, every bag, and, um, you know, later on in life, I'm looking at these things, and I'm like, they don't even hold value, mm -hmm. they don't hold, you know, of course, you know, if women, we just like to look nice, period, but mm -hmm. I think for me now, I'm so much more conscious in what I do with my money, how I spend my time, who I spend my, who I exchange energy with, mm -hmm. like, I'm just so much more conscious of things you know and what what really matters you know i yeah. think when we fall into those spaces is when depression hit anxiety mm -hmm. hit and it's all really it's not for ourselves it's for other people you know yeah. um we're not fulfilling what we need to fulfill i don't mean to be on here preaching no you good no <laughs> this is what they need to hear like my audience will tell you robin like this is the type of game i'm constantly kicking because I used to be that brand development coach, Robin, and to be like, okay, well, this is how you do this, and this is how you do that. It's like people wasn't doing those things because they were still stuck in their own way. Yeah. So I started seeing where people needed the most help was this real talk of how you need to get out of your own way. Why are you holding yourself back? That bag that you want is literally right there, but you won't get it because you keep trying to be like everybody else. Yeah. And I think that we as believers more than anything else is like, we got to understand that if we was made inside of God's image and likeness, then that means if he's dope, if he's awesome, if he, he, he's terrific, we got that same energy on us too, but we're not tapping into it because we would much rather be comfortable and living this life like somebody else got like, Robert, I don't even want to put names out here, but like, it's so many people that are buying Airbnbs to renting them out just to try to stun on people, getting cars, renting them out just to stun on people. You mm -hmm. don't have that car, you don't have that house, you don't got that bag. You're literally going to the mall, buying stuff and then returning it. So you can yeah. use it for a photo shoot and you're giving it right back. Like, yeah. I'm really it's trying true. to teach people that we ain't gotta live that life no more. Nah. Just document where you are. Yeah, it's a prison. You know, you put yourself in, 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 a, in a prison, you know, mm -hmm. by, just living for other people it's mm -hmm. it's crazy it's it's but it's the world that we're in yeah, unfortunately yeah, yeah. you know i have um i have some clients that like i told you i do hate want i have some client clients that i do brand management uh for and social media um mm -hmm. planning and you know i tell them sometimes hey just take a break you know mm -hmm. take a break you don't have to be on all the time you yeah. don't have post every day yeah. you know and a lot of times you know sometimes we have to pull back and regroup yeah. you know and come up with a different plan mm -hmm. but um yeah you know i think sometimes we just need to take a break and disconnect mm -hmm. you know and that's really very important because when there's so much noise around you you can't hear you can't hear what god is trying to tell you you mm -hmm. can't hear his whispers. You can't hear his messages. You can't hear anything when it's too much. Nope. Yeah. Facts. Facts. And that's so important. It's so, so important. What What are some dope spots down in Miami that you love to go to? Restaurants, night spots? Like, what? tell us some dope spots that's your favorites down there. Oh, my God. I have so many. So I'm not going to tell you the <laughs> spots because I don't want anybody showing up <laughs> the way I'm at. Right, right, you right, know, right. It's some crazy people out here, but oh, I true, love, true. Um, I live in uh, Fort Lauderdale. So I love Las Olas. I like 
I hang out there. That's where like all the adults hang. For okay. me, um, South Beach is more so for like the early adults, you know. Gotcha. Um, but I like grown and sexy shit. Yeah. So <laughs> I hang out like, you know, in the more, you know, adult uh over 40 places so you know <laughs> it's a different vibe that's all yeah <laughs> yeah the vibe is just a little different it's not a whole bunch of rah-rah we getting a glass of wine and you know heading back home that's it but yeah i um i love the lasso with her okay now speaking of wine are you red or white or both you know i used to be white but my sister she put me on with um, this wine. I have it on my wine rack. <laughs> she, I don't, she gifted me this. Can you see this? Love, yeah, I can see stuff. it. Yeah. It's a sweet, it's a sweet red. Okay. I love this stuff. Mm. And I have some, I have all kinds of stuff just for entertainment purposes. Okay. But this, it's like my go-to. Okay. Yeah. As soon as you got hip, you was like, man, I got to tap in. Listen, <laughs> I think that's how, honestly, that's how I gained 20 pounds was from that. <laughs> from the what? <laughs> was from you know, that. All that sugar. Like glass of, so of that all the time because it was so good. It was like drinking dessert or, or having dessert all the time. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. So it, are you guys twins, you and your sister? We are. Wow. We absolutely are. <laughs> I was thinking that, but I was like, I didn't want to assume because sometimes black folks just be looking like they, they sister. They, they look like, yeah. No, you know? we, no, we're, yep, that's my twin sister. Wow. Mm -hmm. Dude, how often do you guys hang out? We hang out as, as often as, as we would like to. I okay. would like to hang out with her more, yeah. um, but with her schedule and my schedule, it's a little hard for us to kind of get together because she's back and forth. She actually moved. She's in Miami. She moved gotcha. to Miami um, maybe about a year ago, but she's back and forth between here and Baltimore. And then with my travel schedule, yeah. you know, we just we try to get up it's, it, whenever we can. You know, we try to plan vacations together, outings, you know, or just even me just going over to her house to pop in and pop out. We actually have, um, <laughs> I have a, a, a toy, a, a poodle okay. that uh, we, sh we have joint custody of. Okay. So, <laughs> you know, she, they fell in love with my dog, so... We uh we share we share her. Her name is Cookie. Okay. So I'm always like back and forth picking her up from from Rachel's house. Oh, shout out to Cookie. That's what's up. That's uh -huh. what's up. Okay, so why do you think it's so important for? Let's just speak specifically to the women, since this is your audience. Like, why do you think it's so important for you ladies to just start showing up, even if it's not perfect? Oh my God. Because it's authentic, you know, mm -hmm. showing up just, you know, sometimes I come online, I don't have makeup, I'm, I'm working out, I'm at the gym, I'm sweaty. Mm -hmm. That's when it's more, you can relate better, you know, I yeah. feel so bad, you know, when I have, because listen, I'm doing Photoshop on people like, you know, and mm -hmm. I feel really bad when I have women who are like, you know, I got to lose 30 pounds before. No, because sometimes what life gets in the way and, and you might not never lose those 30 right. pounds. Right. It goes back to me saying, mm -hmm. you know, celebrating those moments that you're in right then yeah. and there, you know, yeah. um, you just, you know, right now, for even for me right now, things are not perfect. I'm in the middle of a divorce right now. So my life is not perfect, but I show up. You know, I have to show up for my children. I have to show up for myself. Yeah. I have to show up for, you know, my friends and the people that care about me, yeah. you know. But I think that living in your truth is, is the most powerful thing mm. you can do for yourself. Mm. You know, mm. it's telling people, accept me. You yeah. know, you have to accept me. If you don't mm. want to accept me, then move on. Yeah. And that's I, just that. Mm, mm. And let's see, and I think that's where the freedom comes in at. And you also give other people permission to live free as well, because when when you're in this place of like, I'm producing this content not to impress y'all, but I'm literally just documenting my journey. Like that's it. Where, where I am right now, this is what y'all seeing. I'm over that's here. Y'all see this? 
This is where the house I'm at right now. Like, like y'all <laughs> seeing this, this many. I'm not trying to be no, I can't be nobody else. And I think that we don't understand that no matter how hard you try, you can never be anybody else. And yeah. I think that we, we feel like we know that on a conscious level, but that thing needs to get deep inside of you to say, let me embrace me because this is all that I got. And yeah. if this is how my weight is right now, this is how my head, this is my, this is my house, this is where I'm at. Like That's I posted it probably about six months ago, my Jeep Cherokee on my page. And some people were surprised when I was like, dad, man, I thought you might've had like a really expensive car. I said, I can get that if I want to. But See, I happen to that, like it. That, the, that type of mindset is what I don't want around me. It's it's that type of stuff. It's that type of thinking that, you know, it, it's that immaturity, uh, you know, because we know, it, it, I know, I know rich people who drive Honda Accords, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. so it's just, it's that type of thinking that you want to be able to filter yeah. You know, um, you know, I had so many people who wanted to be around me because who I was associated with, mm -hmm. you know, and affiliated with. And, mm -hmm. you know, when you go through things and changes, people fall off people, yeah. you know, but it's when you ask yeah. God, hey, God, I want only the people that are here for me in my life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he'll remove who needs to be, mm -hmm. with me, you know. Listen, I, I remember my, my wife might be watching Robin, but um, I remember dating a girl years ago and I was like, God, if this ain't if this ain't you, reveal it and remove it. That girl ended up moving across the country. There you go. I was like, jeez. There you go. There you go. You know, and a lot of things don't have to be a, 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 a disagreement or anything. Things yeah. just happen and people yeah. just, you know, drift apart and, you know, so... Yeah. It's just being aligned with the right people. That's in right. The right season and realizing that like some seasons literally shift out of nowhere. Like just like practically speaking here in Cleveland, it'll be raining, Robin, and then the rain will be going, the sun comes out. It's like, wait a minute, I thought it was supposed to be raining today. Uh -huh. No, things uh -huh. shift that quick. Yeah. But without those without those storms and that rain and that cloud. You know, yeah. we'll never appreciate the yeah. days that are sunny. So, you know, I, you know, I appreciate everything that I'm, I'm I appreciate my season right mm. now. Mm. I, I I appreciate it so much. Mm. You know. Mm. Why do Hi, you? Hi, Ricky. <laughs> I, a lot of my friends don't want to hear this. So Hi, RVP Studios, everyone. That's my uh, photography page. It's my assistant, Tasha. But hey, everybody. Shout out to Tasha yeah. and the crew. So so why, why do you think that you've like embraced this season so much? Because I'm learning so much about myself mm -hmm. that, wow. Like, I am amazed, you know, mm -hmm. I'm learning so many things, um, things that I couldn't, that I wouldn't imagine myself doing, I'm doing, you know, mm -hmm. and right now, the moment that I, I'm in right now, I pray for this, I kid you not, six, mm -hmm. seven years ago, mm -hmm. so I see it, I'm seeing it all happen, mm -hmm. and everything is just like, mm -hmm. revealing, and, and just, Unraveling right before my yeah. eyes, and yeah. everything is happening yeah. when at its perfect time. You know. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. See, and these, the, I want to ask you this question too because this is one of the things I be struggling with. When God be blowing my mind, I I want to be shocked. Like, dang God, thank you. But I also got to think back to like what you said. Like, I pray for this, and you, my father. I'm your child. You're supposed to do stuff like this for me. So where where do you be at? Like, do are you in this place of like, God, I know you're supposed to do it. I know it was coming. Or you be like still shocked a little bit. I be like, you heard me. I be like, God, you heard me when I was praying for these things. Mm -hmm. Because I just whispered it. I was talking to myself. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, I wasn't on my knees with my hands folded like this when I was praying to you. So you heard mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. That's dope. That's dope. That is dope. That's dope. I hope y'all listening. Listen, if y'all getting anything out of this conversation with the amazing Robin, that's her name. 
new nickname, The Amazing Robin. Like, she dropping by. Thank you. And if y'all tap in and really understand the points that she's making, she's literally trying to teach you how to live your best life. Like, she's been around all the celebrities, y'all. Mm -hmm. she, she knows what some of them think and how they act. And, okay, it'd be like that. They normal people just like you. So mm -hmm. instead of you trying to chase these opportunities with a star, why don't you just walk into who you are? Somebody wants your gift. Robin, you said something early on that I, I think that most of them missed that was what, listening. Mm -hmm. You said some of these people that are really, really high up, they watching us right now. Yeah, they are. Yeah, it's true. It's and why true. do you think we get so wrapped up with trying to be something that is going to give us like, what is it? Is it like we want to feel better about ourselves so we feel like we connected to certain people? What is it? I think that most of us don't see ourselves. Mm -hmm. We see other people, okay. but we don't, we don't see ourselves. How do I know that? Because I've been there. I've mm -hmm. been there where I've seen greatness in everything and everybody else. Um, I saw greatness in, in my partner. Mm -hmm. I saw greatness mm -hmm. in everything, but mm -hmm. I didn't see me. I didn't see myself. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and I think everybody else saw it. I just didn't see it at the time. So I think that's that happens with a lot of people. They don't see them, you know, mm -hmm. and a lot of times it's very hard for a lot of us. It's even uncomfortable for a lot of us to look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried that? Like that is uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. Oh, to, yeah. Like really sit there mm -hmm. and look at yourself in the mirror. Like not, I'm talking eyes connected to your reflection and, and sit there and look at it. It's uncomfortable. Oh, it is. It's uncomfortable. I think that we're able to praise other people and look up to other people um, more so than we are ourselves. Mm. And there, there's so much, like if we really realize how dope we were, like everything would shift. Like it's there true. would be, so many, so many dramatic changes in everybody's life. If you just, and, and I want everybody to do this, like as an exercise, whether you rock it with Robin all the time or Manny, like y'all do this exercise. When you get off this live, find you a mirror, just stare at yourself for like one to two minutes. Yeah. And just, just look at, and don't be thinking about the imperfections. Don't start judging yourself. Just as an observer, just look at you. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why is there so much power in that, Robin? Like I said, I think it's because you can finally be comfortable with who you are, yeah. you know, um, and, and not to say that you're going to be 100% comfortable, you yeah. know, because we're changing, we're ever changing. We, you yeah. know, human, humans, we change every day. I wake up, I change every day. I have something that a piece of clothing or something that I was in love with, obsessed with that. I'm like, I will never wear that again, <laughs> you know? So yeah, you have right. to be able to accept the fact that you are changing and your mind is going to change and it's okay. Yeah, it's absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. What, what, what are some of your most favorite shoots that you've done so far? And don't, you ain't got to say who they was and all of that, um, but what, what are some of your favorite How do I, how do I, do, how do I, well, well maybe, like, maybe like location, where it was that, the vibe, like. Uh, it was, a, you know, I have to, it, it was a shoot that I did with Deborah Cox. Okay. And I, and I hate to, you know, name drop and stuff, but yeah. I just love her so okay. much. And this particular shoot, it was here. It was in uh, Fort Lauderdale. And I've shot in many other places, beautiful beaches, Jamaica, Mexico, all over, but. Uh, this particular shoot, Manny, nothing and nothing um, was went as planned, <laughs> and I think that's what made it so amazing. I had um, we had a call time of like six a.m. to be out on the beach. We didn't get out there until maybe about five. I mean, maybe about six thirty-seven. Um, we were just really behind on schedule, but everything fell into place. Wow. everything it was wow. just it was just amazing so i think it was uh deborah herself and then yeah. um just the miracles that were happening right then mm -hmm. in that in that moment mm -hmm. um that you know the synergy it was yeah. just, just crazy <laughs> yeah 
crazy. And I've had moments like that before um, and after, but it was just, um, I think it was the people, um, so many things, so many things. You know, and to that same point, why do you think it's so important for photographers, for influencers, brands, period, to have some creative direction and not just a photographer? Because I think that it's like the way that your mind works when I look at your shots, you're not just shooting a picture. Like you, there was a plan, there was a strategy behind that. Why do you think that's so important? You know, that's so funny that you say that and that you can, that you can pinpoint that because yes, <laughs> I'm like, no, it has to go, yeah, you know, yeah. um, I'm a little bit, you know, it, it has to, there has to be some kind of direction because if there isn't, things will be just all over the place, mm -hmm. okay. you know? Um, there's so much energy. There's so much adrenaline going on and around, yeah. even well, on my sets. Yeah. Uh, there's so much going around that you can just really fall off track. <laughs> like, it's, yeah. it's just, but, um, you know, in a way, too, I find my style, this is one thing about myself, I can be a little bit controlling when it comes to uh, okay. that, piece of it okay. um that i have to kind of let go like uh i have a team of people that i work with with the, the magazine that i work for and a lot of times i'm like you know we're going back and forth and i'm like no this was supposed to be here and this was supposed to be there and right, you know right. and I, sometimes i have to kind of let go of that that control um but you know you do need some type of creative direction for you know a flow yeah yeah and and do you think that with the absence of creative direction this is why we're seeing a lot of like random photos on people's pages it's like doesn't nah, really that's just happen. bad photography yeah. that's just okay. bad that's just people that don't know what they're doing <laughs> <laughs> that's not no, got nothing to do with nothing. <laughs> That's just, who told you to do this? What what thought process? You know, but yeah, nah. <laughs> do you got any tips for these photographers that are trying to get in the game or trying to have more influence? I think for me, um, what I would tell other photographers is to study. You know, study, um, find, uh, you know, starting out you're not going to know what you love like i said before your mind changes me i started out um shooting vixens and, and video vixens and stuff like that and then later on my eye um started to change and i just didn't have a desire to shoot um it's called bourgeois i didn't okay. have you know the desire to shoot that as much you know i still have you know people who commission me for that type of work yeah. but that's just not you know my focus okay. so um i would say you know get out there and just shoot whatever anything try any and everything because they will tell you um a lot of coaches and photography coaches will tell you find a niche you're not going to know what your niche is until you really know what mm -hmm. thrives you and what you feel okay. passionate about. So I would say just shoot everything, but also study and okay. really know what you're doing. Uh, know where the direction of light is coming from. What does it look like to shoot someone in broad daylight where the sun is up high? What do you do? What are the troubleshootings that you can do to make this photo dynamic because um you know you got to know the don'ts yes. before you can know what's right and what looks yeah. right in a photo so composition getting your composition right um and just really studying and knowing your craft you know you That's can't just right. pick up a hammer and nail it in the wall i don't know why people think that they <laughs> hammer well, we'll be thinking shooting. that we be thinking that they they get they uh camera off of Amazon, Robin, they'd be like, all right, it's on and popping. It's, it's going down. Oh, my God. You know, and um, some of, you know, because I have seen some stuff that's, like, pretty bad and pretty out there. Like, when I started shooting, I wasn't that bad. I was, I was, I got some stuff out there that I'm not proud of, but I wasn't that bad. But I think for me, I always had, um, I didn't want to be a part of the exploitation of women. So I was always, even now, I'm always really very conscious on 
on how I interact with my clients. Um, you know, even if I need to like touch your shoulder out, you know, mess, you know, yeah. have a language where is it okay for me to show you, you know, like sometimes it's just about how you communicate, you know, with people also. No, that totally makes sense. All right. Do you have any last words that you want to give to the people? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay. I mean, if anybody has any questions, they can have. I think I talked away. <laughs> yeah, you, you said a lot of amazing stuff. Um, how can they get in contact with you? Should, should they go right to your Instagram page? Should they go? You to can your... find me on on both of my. I'm on both of my Instagram pages. You can email me Robin B Photography um, at gmail dot com. Um, Robin B Photography uh, at Robin B dot com. Um, you can message me on Instagram at Miss Robin B or my uh, photography page RVP underscore studios and then i'm always on facebook awesome well look i appreciate you taking the time since like this was some really great game i know i learned a whole lot and your followers my followers it was tuned in like this has been a great conversation i'm gonna post this on my page just so that they can perfect 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 thank you for having me manny i appreciate it oh you you already know like i admire your work and everything that you're doing it's like you're not just consistent, but like you do this like in a real free space. Like that's what I admire more than anything else. Every time I see him, like the homie out here doing it again. She's saying. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate it. You know, it's so crazy. I thought you were from Maryland. I don't know why. Oh, you did? Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I don't know where I don't know where I got that idea from, but I did think you were from Maryland. But so you're in Cleveland. Yeah, Cleveland, okay. Ohio. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. I well, would say great thing there is, but somebody might disagree and say they like Fort, Fort Lauderdale better than Cleveland. So I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do no arguing on this live with you, Rob. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> well, you know South Florida is where it's at. You know. It's <laughs> well, thank you, Manny. I appreciate you. Thank you for your, you know, everyone who joined, my followers who joined. I appreciate y'all. Awesome people are still joining, and sorry y'all missed it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace and blessings.